Pascal Ogier's Martyrs is the first film that really made me struggle with a rating. Did I enjoy watching it? Not really. But was it effective? Was it a film that left me thinking about it for days? Absolutely. To put it simply, Martyrs is an experience that I just can't get out of my head. Hey everyone, I'm Mariana and I really need to talk to someone about Martyrs because this film, yeah. Before I go any further, I want to make sure you know that there are going to be spoilers in this video for the entirety of Martyrs, including the ending. So if you haven't seen this traumatizing French film yet, you should watch it first and then come back so we can make each other feel better in the comments. My biggest concern going into this was that it was going to just end up being another gore fest, something that exists purely for the shock value and I hate torture porn horror. Martyrs, however, is not torture porn. Sure, it is gruesome and it does involve torture and gore, but all of this has a purpose. Unlike with countless other horror films that focus on the violence and brutality, with Martyrs, the horrifying imagery and gore are not the point or the source of entertainment. The film actually plays with a few horror subgenres. It involves revenge, survival, somewhat of a creature situation, and of course, torture, but in the end, it ends up finding its own way. It transcends the genre and challenges its viewers to see beyond the horror. Even the structure here is pretty unusual. The film very clearly breaks down into two parts. The first half is a story of revenge and friendship that opens with a striking image of a young girl, Lucy, escaping what looks like a very abusive situation. She is placed in an orphanage and there she develops a strong bond with another girl, Anna. This is also where we get our first glimpse at the way Lucy's guilt manifests itself. Before escaping her tormentors, she saw another victim but did not help her, which is something that has been haunting Lucy ever since. Years later, as an adult, Lucy shows up to exact her revenge on the family who abused her. This entire first half deals mostly with emotional pain and damage and the aftermath of Lucy's trauma. We watch her realize that revenge is not a solution. We watch her struggle with guilt and pain and ultimately, when she is no longer able to deal with all of this, her story ends. Meanwhile, we also develop an attachment to Anna, who is a compassionate person and a loyal friend. She is determined to help Lucy in any way she can, even if she thinks Lucy has gone a bit too far. This is also what makes the second half of the film so hard to watch. After a brief transition where we get introduced to the society, their leader Mademoiselle, and find out a little bit about the years of torture they have been subjecting people to, we get to watch Anna go through being made into a martyr. While the things she has to go through are horrible as is, it's our connection to her character that makes the montages of abuse so emotionally draining for the viewers. And then there is the ending. The way I see it, the ending of Martyrs is perfect. From the perspective of the storytelling, I don't believe any definite answer would have been satisfying. But more importantly, this ending actually puts a mirror to humanity. So many of us want easy answers and for someone else to figure out the solution to our problems. We look for a guarantee that putting in the effort is going to get us the results that we want. Just like the society is looking for a confirmation of afterlife. However, the truth is that there are no easy answers or shortcuts to our goals and big questions. No one else can do the work of figuring things out and living our lives. 
for us. In his many interviews about the film, Logier talks about transcendence being the main theme of Martyrs, as well as about taking his audience on a painful journey with the goal of having his viewers emerge at the end in somewhat of an altered mindset. It's very interesting how the experience of the film actually ends up mirroring the plot and the point of the story. The film takes us on a brutal journey. We have to stick around until the very end to actually understand the reasoning behind all of this, and then it refuses to give us an easy answer. And about that star rating, I guess I'll just keep doubting. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and consider supporting me on Patreon. I hope you're having an awesome day, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.